Hello all, uh, this video is the, another, is the part of SAP Business One SDK and today we are going to learn how to design a form mm -hmm. in SAP Business One Studio and uh, we are going to, we already saw uh, the, the basic brief introduction of in the SAP Business One Studio so you have, if you haven't checked that out, please watch that video first to get a glimpse of how the Business One Studio works and how you can put the controls and what control have which meaning and that would be really helpful for you and after that we can uh, we can come back, you can come back and continue this video and we're gonna design a form uh, today and we're gonna use all the controls that possible and we're gonna export that form into a SRF format and I'm gonna show you how SRF look like into the XML format and I'm gonna explain that to you a bit too. So uh, let's just start. <laughs> So first of all, uh, let's assume we have a form that I'm going to say, okay, company detail, I'm going to give a company detail name and our form always should be in the add mode, right? And uh, our form should be in the add mode. Then you can uh, give the tie unique ID and I'm going to say uh, CMPDT would be our company detail form right and the default button i'm gonna say would be yes the uh, now if you're gonna use the ui controller then i already told you before that the first control would be two buttons which handle automatically by sap business one right and you can make these two button one button would be the unique id with one the second button would be the unique id with two and the button one would be okay or this time we have the add mode so we can say add and the second button would be the caption would be cancel right okay now you just add it now we need to compare the static text and you want to use the static text something like this so i'm gonna say okay our this one is the static one right and this would be i'm gonna say company name i'm gonna say company code right and the same thing would be let's say company name This one would be company name STCMP name. All right now we're gonna use the edit text. We're gonna put the edit text in here a bit bigger. Same here, a bit bigger, right? Or the same, whatever you want move that here no, not looking good could be here then you have to link these to control together so that they're not gonna uh, mess up when you resize the form control so you can copy this unique id and you can just go into link to paste that you can give this one txt company code right you can copy this one and you can link this to this one right now the same for this one copy this go here link to this one txt company name and link this one back to this one right this would be the company name company detail i'm gonna say the tax code of the company
so either you can just delete them copy these four paste them again right basically the gap between the controls should be only one like this right you can change that value into tax code this would be static tax code right copy this put that into the link to change that into a tax code go back in here link it to the link to right same thing tax code that i'm gonna say that id right that's gonna be st that id i'm gonna copy the name give that to the link to and i'm gonna say txt that id copy this one to the link right we just added now i'm gonna use one matrix right the beauty of this matrix is you can directly use the you can use directly uh, column into the matrix right so i'm gonna use a matrix in here and you can use a column here you can add the columns in the matrix right so i'm gonna say okay we need six column column one would be i'm gonna say uh, code right the unique id would be code the title would be also code this would be the width i'm gonna say 100 right then i'm gonna say the second one would be the name the column also is the name and i'm gonna say it could be 254 the third one is I'm gonna say uh, plant ID, right? The ID would be 100. I'm gonna say plant ID. You cannot make a space into the unique ID, so be careful about that, right? Then I'm gonna say plant name. say plant name this will be 254 right then I'm gonna say address yes I'm gonna say address I'm gonna say city City would be also 100. The address should be more than 500. And at the later, I'm gonna say pin curly mark. The type will also be three mark, right? The later, the thing is like the description, the display description editable it should be editable or not that user can enter the value right justify sortable like the column should be sortable or not so maybe we can make the code name as uh, sortable right so that the user can short that you can add the choose only di list directly into here and you can say add once you say add you're gonna see all the columns linked here the width of the column is based on the size that we have just given so the address we get 500 so the width of the that is also grown as much and then you can add a data table because you're gonna need a data table for here and you're gonna need a data table for uh, uh, you're gonna need a data table for the matrix or also i'm gonna suggest use a data source for these four right uh, because you you want to avoid that so you're gonna say three four i'm gonna say okay this one is cmp code right 
this one would be CMP name. This would be tax ID. This would be that ID, right? So CMP name, CMP code should be sort text, right? The size could be 254. The maximum size of a text in the, the sort text is 254, and it's it is this one. So you don't want to exceed that, right? The company name would also be the tax code. The sort text would be also the tax code could be 30, right? The VAT ID would be 20 with sort text, right? So this all be the sort text. Now you have to link them into here. So you can simply go company code, right? Go to the tax one, add the tax ID in here. Go to the company name. And finally the VAT one. VAT ID should be here, right? So we just linked all the data sources in this one. So we already linked the user data source into our company detail form, right? Into our company details. Now I'm gonna export that. I'm gonna show you how this form look like into the SRF. So for the export, you can just simply save it as a CMP form, right? Dot SRF. It will be saved. And you just have to open that. I have to check the path again. All right, now we can open that file into the notepad. And in the notepad, you will see there is an XML format. Then there will be the application. And then the form begin. The action type is add. This is the add mode. Uh, not the add mode like the action type is that means we are adding the controls into the form the first control is a form these are the predefined tag of XML of a CP business one which understand itself then there is the many different things like the visibility is zero so you have to make the visibility one for sure because you're gonna show that the mode three is add mode then which pan you want the object type the support modes how many modes it can be support auto manage this true or not so you want that too then uh, the height and width then the data sources that we have added so we added the two four user data sources right so these data sources are here then all the menu uh, after after that the menus would be ended and the action type for the items would be started the items are everything from the edit text to the matrix so we added the two buttons with a unique id one and then we added um, the items of the static text right and we have also added the uh, the text uh, text to one that that's called the edit text right and you added that and uh, uh, also manage um, manage to link that with the user data source so that's how you can do that in the eczema and then it would be your uh, matrix the later if you have any choose from list in any of this ob object then you can add the choose from list here and the the setting would be i'm gonna tell you when we'll do the di api and that's how every uh, form look like in the srf so i hope you learn a bit about that you can practice by designing your own form if you have any question please feel free to drop me a message or the comment and we will try to solve that together thank you so much